Hey gang fans, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new here, hello, my name is Joe, and I haven't put my phone on silent. Whoops. Okay, I've fixed that now. Where was I? Uh, my name is Joe, and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does with nails, she does with nail stuff. Um, I'm going to do some quick and easy Christmas designs today. Um for beginners or home users or just people who don't like faffing about. Uh, so I'm starting with Illusion. No, I didn't. I started with Alaska. I've done two coats of that over two nails and I'm now taking Illusion and I am pouring it over the tacky layer of that second coat of um, Alaska. Uh, the products, the Gel Perfection products, are from diamondglitters.co.uk as are um, all the glitters and other goody stuffs that I use. You can use code TEAMDG for a discount there. So this is going, as I say, onto the tacky layer and then I'm pressing in the glitter and then on some on some part, some part parts of the nail I've burnished and then some parts I, I don't know, didn't fully burnish. So yeah. Some of them are a bit sparkly, like this one. The top's burnished and the bottom's sparkly. That wasn't the intention, but that's what we've got. Um, if you don't have glitter, then you can just leave it white um, before we go on to the next step. So I'm dusting them off um, and I'm going to top with, this is for Charlotte, diamond gloss, of course, of course. Um, and then I'm going to cure that because we're going to buff them and uh, paint on top of them. I filmed this a couple of days ago, edited it yesterday, no idea what's about to happen. Um, so I'm curing that top coat and now I'm going to buff. How is everybody? The world is a different place today for several reasons. Um, and I hope everyone's uh, happy. If you're not happy, then, you know, I hope you can find peace with it and unite together. Uh, so I'm taking, what was that, Royal Red? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do some candy stripes. I had intended to do them curved or sort of swoopy, s -y kind of shape, but I clearly wasn't paying attention to the voice in my head. One of, one of the voices. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to just do a few stripes. We're keeping it simple. The middle one, I thought, yes, let's curve the top one. Obviously didn't have that idea. And then this bottom one, I cock up completely and and in a sec. Do I show it? Anyway, the gap gets smaller between the uh, the one above it uh, and it's a bit wonk majonk, but never mind. So I'm curing those and then I'm going to do a thinner line. This brush is a really long liner brush. I got it from where? Somewhere on the interwebs. Um, it was a brand, but it's just got a long, thin um, purple handle with no no brand name on it. So kudos to your brand publicist. Sterling job, well done, A plus. Um, so I'm now topping this with diamond gloss and that's that. You can maybe use super gloss or a rubber top coat for this just to even out this sort of unevenness where we've got the um, stripes uh, just so it's all a bit smoother. And that's that one. We are now taking blackout. And I'm going to draw a little kind of loopy, I don't know, that. Uh, make sure that top loop isn't too high up because we're going to put fairy lights on these. So you want to make sure there's room to have some um, above that loop. So I cured that and then I'm just doing some little black squares, um, which I just did by pulling the polish. Well, not pulling the... What day is it today? don't know. What does that matter? Where are we? Um... <laughs> Um, I'm putting some black out on my brush and then I'm just pulling pulling it down. You can see I'm not drawing a square. I'm just pulling down until it makes a square by itself. Um, and then that will go all the way around. And then we're going to add fairy lights. I did red and green. Um, the plan was to do all different colours. But because I was doing 10 nails for this video, I just knew that I didn't want 50 billion polishes out on my desk because I get stressy. I like a nice tidy workspace. So I thought red and green's out anyway. We'll just do red and green, but obviously you can do whichever colors take your fancy pants. 
But we're going to cure that black first. And I'm now taking Christmas Grinch, very aptly named. Um, these lights, these are based on the fairy lights that my grandparents used to have. Um, or possibly still have. <laughs> um, Shape-wise, that kind of, that shape. Like candle flame shape. But if you don't have a brush or for doing that shape you could just do dots with a dotting tool you could do the same actually for the little black squares you could just do black dots and then bigger dots of the colors for the bulbs I'm trying to think of you know if maybe you are a home user and you don't have a whole bunch of tools um, dotting tools is probably the first set of tools um, that a nail tech will have in her arsenal um, and they are great for painting and they're great for doing you know nice easy designs um, so you could do these with a dotting tool um, if you don't have brushes um um stop saying um um uh, right <laughs> so we are doing red and green again do whatever colors you want that's fine uh, and now I am topping, so I've cured that, and I'm topping with diamond gloss, and then you can obviously see the nice shimmery background. I've just been on the phone to my friend for a while, so I'm, I'm all talked out. Uh, now I am taking Christmas Grinch again, and I'm going to do a full nail of that. I'm going to do two coats, and then what? Oh, now we're doing another one. Uh, we're now taking Waikiki Beach, not just for summer. Um, and doing this on here, this is gorgeous colour. And I love blues, especially sort of shimmery blues, because they're they're great in the summer, but then they have a kind of second wind come Christmas. Because um, they're, I don't know, why is blue Christmassy? I don't know. Uh, and I'm now going to take Alaska and, whoa, quite vigorously <laughs> create a snowman body. It's going to be a snowman. Uh, I'm going to call him... Uh, I'm going to call him Laura. <laughs> it's a her. Because me and my one of my best friends have this... When I say long-running joke, it's been since 1994. So it's been a good while that we've had this joke to do with a snowman. And it's it's so not funny to anybody else, but it's just hilarious to us. So this one's... This is, this is, this is for Laura. Uh, so I'm doing two blobs, body and head, and I'm curing that. And we're now going to give him a little hat it's cold outside um i didn't know what kind of hat to do i didn't know whether to do i like a bowler or a fedora so it kind of have ended up with neither of those just a hat it's just a hat uh filling that in and then we should probably give him her some more clothes because it is it's cold out there cold enough to build a snowman do you want to build a snowman no okay bye i haven't built a snowman for years um i'm not that enthused about snow to be honest <laughs> i mean it's nice it looks pretty but uh, it just causes too much disruption i don't want to know uh so i'm giving him some i'm such a grinch i'm giving him some coal eyeballs and now a little red scarf with ready or not again i think uh just giving him two little pokey out bits and then I will give him some buttons. I mean, they don't have a coat on. What are the buttons for? Hmm. Uh, they don't have to be perfectly round, his eyes or thingies, because when have you seen a perfectly round lump of coal? Oh my goodness. When I was younger, <laughs> side note. Oh, I'm adding snow now. And I was, I stopped halfway because I realized I needed to give him some arms. So I wanted to get the arms on before I went and did some snow. So yeah, my, my side note, when I was younger, I was at a friend's house um, and it was cold. So we had the fire on and I picked up what I thought was a lump of coal and threw it in the fire. And only after, um, you know, a few minutes when we started to feel really chilled out, man, <laughs> did uh, I realise that it was not coal. So always check. They had a they had a daughter who was about 12 at the time, still friends with her now. And she came in and was like, smells really weird in here, Joe." I was like, what are we talking about, man? Just chill out. <laughs> but that was back in my, my younger teenage days, not the sort of activities that I partake in as a grown up. I'd rather drink a gallon of Baileys or Fizz and then pass out that way instead. <laughs> fluff, fluff. 
So I'm just adding a bit of snow at the bottom and then just using the Dawson tool to kind of drag it down. No, no nothing fancy. Um, and adding some more snowdrops, snowflakes. Snowdrops? Snowflakes. Um, and then I decided just to get carried away and put loads on there. There would be a lot of snow. Look at the size of the snowman. He's, he's a big boy. Um, she's a, Oh, no, see, it's not Laura. It's for Laura. We're going to call him Larry. Uh, and now giving him a little coal mouth uneven wonky mouth his nose is done with um tiger lily which is just a triangle sideways triangle um and then i'm going to top that with super gloss just because we've got sort of it's a bit uneven and then that will go into the lamp in you go and there he is larry larry the snowman hello mate okay moving on bye bye uh oh I'm drinking. There's a surprise. I don't drink every day. I know it seems like I do. I just drink at the weekends and I tend to film at the weekends. I'm not, you know, I'm not a full-time alcoholic, just part-time. Uh, I'm now taking Alaska on that one that we've done some Christmas Grinch on. And I'm going to draw a whole bunch of lines and then try and turn them into candy canes. Although they just, they kind of look a bit more like walking sticks to me but we're going to do a bunch of those. I'm going to do them like polka dots. So I need to hiccup. Whoa. No, it's it's going. Oh, my boys. Um, yeah, look at that one just now. That's not a candy cane. That's a, that's a walking stick. Never mind. I, <laughs> I think I was thinking walking sticks, so they ended up going a bit more square than I'd planned. Um, and then I will do this, yes, in a kind of polka dot pattern. So we've got the line that I started with in the middle and then in between each one, although they're not, it started to get a bit out of whack, but it doesn't really matter. I was kind of going for a, uh, a wrapping paper kind of look, like a pattern that just goes on and on and Ariston. Um, and then once they are all on there, I very poorly added red lines using Royal Red, I think. Or was it ready or not? Royal Red. Um, and it just doesn't look that great, but you get the gist. <laughs> so you could use, I suppose you could do bigger, you could do bigger candy canes and then you wouldn't have to fuck about with teeny tiny red lines. Started off all right. And then, um, I don't know, the Baileys kicked in and it ended up going a real mess. But if you did bigger candy canes, then they wouldn't be as small. You wouldn't have to do such small detail. Um, you can buy... Um, detail brushes from Diamond Glitters or Code UK. Um, they do, do they come in a set or do you buy them individually? Not sure. Um, I will, I will find out. Um, and I'll list everything I'm using in the description below. Let me know if you, what you do for Christmas. Is Christmas even on this year? What's happening? Are we allowed to go and see family and friends? Probably not. Um, I've got my grandparents coming round they're 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 gonna be in their 90s next year they're coming here for christmas i don't care what boris says okay um so all my red lines looking a bit dodge never mind oh yeah that's the one you need to worry about that's the one that needs fixing <laughs> so that had a cure and now i'm going to top with diamond gloss i'm topping everything shiny because it's christmas and christmas is shiny um although we'll i will do some designs with um matte in them as well uh, I've got a few ideas for some designs. Oh, and I'll, you'll see. <laughs> I'll chew your ear off about the future. So, yeah, it's not the best. But once you kind of look at the big picture, I think it looks kind of cute. Apparently, I'm not showing you. Uh, I'm now taking Sparkling Sapphire. This colour is amazing. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Uh, I can't remember what I do on this one, but uh, I'm painting it on. I'll do two coats. Um, curing each one. The gel perfection colours cure for one minute. And then, okay, how long does it take? Do you know why? Because I watch telly. Well, I don't watch telly. I watch stuff on my tablet on um, YouTube or Netflix or whatever. Um, so I'm listening to that and I end up doing far too many strokes on just putting a base colour down because I'm listening to something and not paying attention. Uh, I'm now, oh yes, I'm doing a snowflake. And I thought, let's try and do a really basic snowflake which by name they're not so I'm doing uh, oh dear 
brain's just turned off. I've done obviously those um, across and then diagonal lines and then I'm doing little V's inside each one. I tried to make these even but they don't end up even but I don't think that matters. Who's going to be looking that closely at a snowflake on your finger? The only time your hand would, your fingers would ever be that close to someone's face would be, you know, while your hand is en route to giving them a little backhander. Um, so I'm adding some dots to this now because dots make everything look more intricate. And then people will say, oh my goodness, so intricate, look amazing. You could be like, yeah, I'm fantastic. Uh, yeah, dots, love dots. Um, so I'm going to add some at the end of each one and then um, just typically got carried away and thought let's add some more why not we've got the brush in our hand and again you could do this with a dotting tool um, or a cut uh, cuticle stick or a toothpick and you can get as fancy pants as you like with snowflakes or as simple as you like and um, it's quite easy to get carried away with snowflakes because there's always it's symmetrical aren't they so you could end up you add a bit somewhere and you have to add it somewhere else and it just gets bigger and bigger which is clearly what's happening to this one <laughs> it's got a bit of a liquid eyeliner situation going on it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, i'm doing another one down the bottom i thought i'd do a more spiky spiky looking one uh so but i do always start them the same um with that cross and then the diagonal cross and then little v's in between the lines which you don't have to do there are because um, you do need kind of a small brush for this but you could do a dot there <laughs> if when in doubt add a dot um, but you could do different ways there's loads of um, pictures online uh, of snowflakes so you can find one and just copy that whatever takes your fancy so that's that again that's wonky never mind <laughs> do you have snow where do, where do you live do you have snowflakes do you have white Christmases there? I mean, you know, I doubt Australia has a white Christmas, um, given that it's summer over there in our winter. Um, but we, we've had, I've had a few white Christmases in my time, I think. Um, used to love them when I was little, but now, like I say, I'm not, not overly fussed about snow. <laughs> It's just cold. I don't like cold. I hate it being cold. Our heating's been... Our boiler was busted recently. Um, and we had to wait, like, almost a week for it to be fixed. Which, okay, you know, first world problems. But, fudge me, it was so cold. Um, I cured that and then attempted to drown it in top coat by mistake. Um, and then I go to top that with shiny and then cure that. And then we are taking... Oh, okay, there's that. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Get on with it. Oh, that blue, that was so good. I love it. I'm now taking ready or not. And I'm going to do two nails, I think, with this. Yes. Um, just different designs, but just doing two of them with um, a base of ready or not. One of them only need to do one coat of because we're going to um, go over it with foil it, which is the Gel Perfection Foil Gel, which is just amazing. It's so good. You cure it for two minutes. At, you, so you apply it like a gel polish, cure it for two minutes, and then you have the perfect tacky layer for full coverage or patch or however, whatever you want to do with foils. It's just you're going to get a perfect pickup. So I'm taking these three foils all from diamondglitters.co.uk uh, red hollow green prism and then gold metallic i think it's called um that red one looks insane over black so uh do it <laughs> i'm patching this just randomly um this one's going to be like a christmas present wrapping paper uh, so i'm using all three colors and then just at the end i think with the green um, I just went over everywhere to pick up any areas where there were um, gaps. Can you hear my voice getting really dry? Because <laughs> I've been on the phone. I don't obviously don't talk that much in general. Um, so when I speak to somebody on the phone for a while and now doing this, um, I'm going to give myself a sore throat. <laughs> uh, I'm wiping. I'm wiping this one. Uh, this hasn't been topped. I'm wiping the second coat. Um, obviously it's been cured and then buffing because I want to do placement foil and I want it only to stick to the foil it gel which is what I'm using here um, oh fluff 
get the jingle out of here. Um, I don't want it to pick up on the tacky layer or anything like that. So um, that's being cured for two minutes. And I'm now buffing this one that I have topped um, because I want to, I'm going to draw like give a bow. Um, and I wanted, I didn't want to paint straight onto the foil because I didn't know how it, I didn't think it would come out that well. Um, so I topped first and then I'm, the reason I'm buffed before painting this is because you don't then want to top a shiny dry surface. You always want a buffed or tacky surface when you're putting more gel on. Um, otherwise it's just, it's not going to sort of adhere very well um, and it can lift and stuff. If you double top... Um, if I ever double top something, I'll use a tacky top first and then a no wipe top or I'll base coat first and then top. If you're going to top with shiny no wipe and then top again, buff that one first. So it's the, so the final top coat has something buffed and just, you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, I'm sure. Uh, so I'm now taking, uh, the gold foil and look at that transfer. That is perfect. That was so satisfying. I think I kept that bit of foil. <laughs> Um, so I've popped that over our what is going to be Christmas bauble and I'm now doing some white detail just just some kind of icicle kind of look I guess and then added dots <laughs> more dots just because I thought it would look cute dots kind of make things look like gives them a bit of a twinkle doesn't it so adding some of that and then I will I think I flash cured it I'm not sure um, and then I'm going to add a string. Oh, more bits. I was so out of shot here. I'm really sorry. Um, uh, oh, we're back to this one. So I am flash curing that other one. If you ever, if you, unless you need to do wet on wet, just flash cure as you go. If you like a bit you've done and you don't want to mess it up or you think you might miss the next bit up and then wiping it would ruin the bit that's still wet, just flash as you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Flash away. Uh, so I've topped that and that is our wrapping paper present kind of one which is so shiny with that foil on I love it and I'm now going to do a little bow here um, for our Christmas bauble and then I think that's that for that one I really like these colors together so I think um, I'm going to do a set based around this kind of theme like a kind of sparkly decorate oh look a dot <laughs> sparkly decorations and that sort of thing because I, I love these colors together that's getting topped with diamond gloss um, again, if you ever think it's a bit bumpy, um, just from layers and things, then you can always use super gloss or a rubber top coat just to smooth that all out. Uh, now, what are we doing now? I'm taking iced mocha. Oh yeah, this is little Rudolph. And this is the easiest, the world's easiest Rudolph. Um, so that's being cured. I'm doing two coats of that and I'm using chestnut here. We're going to do a Christmas pudding. Do you have Christmas puddings in other countries? Is it just a English thing, maybe? Um, I'm taking Siren for Rudolph's nose because it's a neon red, so it will show up nice and brightly on the um, iced mocha. So I'm going to give him a little schnozbo so he can guide the sleigh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It has to be big, you know. He's, he's, he's the, only, the only reindeer with a glowing nose so I suppose it kind of has to be big so uh, they can see in the dark um, I'm now just doing two dots for eyes and two crosses more fluff for antlers is that it oh, I think I give him do I give him a little cheeky smile yeah he's happy he only has to work one day yeah of course he's happy um, oh and I added a bit of white on his nose and that is it that is the most basic Rudolph but he just looks super cute um, so he's going in the lamp and now I'm taking this, which now looks matte because I wiped it and didn't like the first bit I did. Uh, I'm taking Alaska and I'm going to do some drips. So dotting tool blobs, just work those up a bit. And then I'm going to use dotting tool for the rest of it just to show you that, you know, you don't need um, tiny brushes for everything. Um, yeah, Christmas pudding, maybe, maybe it is a worldwide thing. I don't know. But... It's kind of, I mean, it's fucking disgusting. It's like fruit, with, it's like compact, stodgy fruit. And what is in it? I don't know, but I don't like it. And then what you do is you pour brandy over it and then set it on fire and you get this big blue flame. And then how do you put the flame out? I guess it just burns up all the alcohol. Um, and I think they used to put 
like a sixpence or something in it. Apparently it was lucky if you found it. I, if, if Christmas Day I chipped a tooth or cracked a tooth on a coin in my food, I would not consider myself lucky. I would consider myself pissed off. Um, happy Christmas, trip to the dentist. No. So the holly I've done there, a holly is just a horrible thing to draw because it's just it's just weird so i did a straight line and then just pulled out some little flicks from it I'm adding three dots for berries and that is it that is our christmas pud with some cream on nice and simple that brown's so gorgeous it's got it's got a bit of purple sparkle in it which you'd only see if you were looking really close but it's really stunning uh, i'm now taking birthday suit we're going to do is this the last one i think so it's she knows yes this is the last one this is going to be Father Christmas, Santa Claus, St. Nick, whatever you want to call him. Uh, we've done birthday suit because he is a pasty ass white guy. Uh, and I'm using Ready or Not to do his hat. Um, and then I'm going to use Alaska to do his beard. Um, oh, sorry, fidgeting. Um, yeah, I think, okay, close your ears, kids. Considering he's a fictional character I think he needs updating don't you um, I think he could be stripy you know black brown white yellow and then kids will be like why is father Christmas stripy and we can say well he's every race um, or just to piss off white supremacists just just a really black Santa that would be amazing <laughs> um, but yeah I think I think Santa could be a bit more uh, inclusive appearance-wise. <laughs> but anyway, this one's a pasty old white guy because there's not enough of those in the world. Uh, I'm using this to, using Alaska again to do, what is this? This is kind of a uh, working as both his eyebrows and his hat fur fluff uh, rim. Ooh, that's a horrible word. <laughs> and... I'm going to give him some big fat eyebrows, some Eugene Levies, and uh, pop that in the lamp. Do I flash here as I go, I think? Yeah. And then I'm giving him a red nose. Why is it red? I don't know. It's cold in the North Pole, I guess. And then just some black dots for eyes. I want to keep this sort of same level as simple as the Rudolph. So there's the kind of... I think I changed his smile actually. Uh, so their nose and mouth and eyes are the same because you might want, you know, if you were doing accent nails, say one Rudolph and one Father Christmas. Uh, so they're his black eye. Oh, no, he's not going to see well out of that shape eye. <laughs> um, black eyes, like my soul. Um, and then, is that that? Oh, I think I decided to, again, my head was like, what else can I do? So. I thought I'd add some rosy cheeks with um, sheer pink, but uh, I changed my mind because it was get it was a bit too close to his smile. So I wiped that off and just left him as is, and then topped him, nice and simple. Uh, and then that is all of them. I hope you like them. I will be doing some more um, intricate designs, and I'll do some sets um, for ideas for a full set. Uh, plenty of Christmas videos to come but I thought we'll start with something you know nice and easy that you can do in yourself or if you're a beginner or home user then um, just quick and easy fun designs let me know which one's your favorite and if there's anything in particular you'd like to see um, thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for loads more videos um, thank you so much for watching and being here I really appreciate it I'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.